Um, you could just give away like even like a dollar of it if you want to. We, I'm not gonna do it, like I said. But we I'm just not have. Insane. Remember, we our 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 initial goal is just thirty five dollars, so we can do a nice top eight payout. Uh, top three payout. Goddamn, top eight like, to do a top three payout. So like, help us get there. Uh, like every if every person in chat gave one dollar to Stimmy right now. If everybody in chat gave one dollar <laughs> to Stimmy right now, we'll be there. <laughs> You, oh, oh, you, you, you thought that was button check? No, that was neutral. <laughs> you <laughs> fooled I you. I, I saw Amaro's hit every special <laughs> on his controller, and it's like, okay, maybe this is a button check. No, this is just Steve. <laughs> <laughs> this is just Steve and Bayo. Uh, oh, you may not like it, but this is what peak neutral looks like. Yeah, this is Smash <laughs> Ultimate. Sometimes it wow, 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 do wow, be wow. like this. Are yeah. you? Why are you um, there? Hello? What the heck? Okay. <laughs> so, I don't know if you saw that initial DI of the first Witch Twist, but he flew into the air. I don't know what happened. <laughs> like, that's like, some, like, Smash 4 SDI. <laughs> I'm like, gonna be real with you, Chief. Smash 4 SDI, yeah, plus. Why? Okay, a little bit, a little bit off with some of these uh, trajectories. Okay. When the neutral looks Absolute. like both players are having a stroke. <laughs> <You're just> like... <laughs> it's kind of Steve. God, how can Steve be so good and so mediocre at the same time? Wow. And, um, okay, that's crazy. So, it seems like Amarils definitely has a read on um, what Pango is going for. Um, Because that was like, what, four witch times in a row? Yeah, everything's active with... or. At the very least, Minecart is ridiculously active, and Witch Time making full use of the added area of effect that Witch Time grants you is the absolute call out. And when you got it, when you got it, and with only 40% on you and Diamond Tools, Amaryllis is gonna have to play this a little bit scared because one, hit, one or two hits. Yeah, yeah, like the like the Diamond Hand Steve is like pretty dangerous. Um, the moves are really strong, the spike's really strong. And he finally has some gold on hand so he can make Minecart an actual, an actual insane threat instead of just a very good move. Makes you wince a little bit as the, as the early lead that Amaro seemed to have is all but gone now. Yeah, yeah, you know, we lost the DLC pack man. And that was a setup, right? So what Amaryllis tried to do was do a get up attack to kick away the TNT, but um, Pango was like, uh, he would have thought and just set it on fire and made it explode, which is which is pretty good recognition coming out from uh, Pango. All right, new ways to get around minecart keep going, or new but old ways, I suppose. Which time still being used as a part, a intended counter to that move, but Pango. <laughs> there, there's the Steve. <laughs> Just run, walk at your opponent, and up tilt. See how it gets you. Yeah, and um, got whiff punished for fifty percent actually. And it seems like uh, Pango's SDIing it up and just getting out of the combo like crazy SDIing it up. When you got that much faith in your SDI, I mean, why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Ah, yes. <laughs> Neutral. And, and you still got hit by that. God, without bats within, like, that might be a dead bay. Oh no, wait, they're at 53, but that's a heck of a that's a heck of a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah, and um Wow. He still okay. alive though, and has gold, so this recovery is something you can't really mess with as he tries and fails. Wow, yeah, and that forward throw killed. You know, I have to say, um, you didn't see a lot of um we didn't see a lot of building from Pango, right? It actually seemed like Pango was being very aggressive and neutral. And you, you, you didn't see a lot of like the, the the stalling for mining. You didn't see a lot of the baits, right? You didn't see a lot of like the frustrating tackets that like, you know, some of the Steve's you see like to do, right? The DLC Pac-Man stuff. Um, and, you know, and Amaryllis was just on top of the game plan, you know? Breaking his own. It almost makes you wonder if the uh, the innate game plan of Bayonetta is tricky for Steve to handle because while like building with these blocks is really like what makes Steve so incredible in a lot of matchups and like just so like polarizing, Bayo's incredible movement. Thanks, Grammon, for the follow. Um, 
the incredible movement variety that comes from Bayonetta can really get around so much of the block placement and so much of the time that Steve would take to place blocks that it's almost not worth it. Yeah, it's almost not worth it. And also, it's like some of these setups that, you know, Pango's going for would actually hit other characters. But um, especially like the up, the up smash setups, Emerald's just been rich timing through it and like hard punishing Pango. So that's like another aspect of this match that was pretty annoying. And he, he just downed, he just did not care. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, why why would you care when you can summon demon limbs that go through go through destroy those blocks and more? Hey, it's it's called the um it's called the wicked weave, okay? Yes. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> wicked weaves, bullet arts, all the individual moves. As the bullet arts came through in the in the clutch for Amarillis not taking nearly as hard of a punish as he would on a on a whiff smash attack. Thanks for thanks for sub flash. We saw that. Let's go flat. Well, it's almost making uh, some of these TNT setups are almost making Amaryllis conditioned to ABK from ledge even more than Bayonetta players already do. <laughs> yeah, and um, it, you know, it, it's funny. I mean, funny enough, right? If if you're Steve and you're going for that setup. Um, and you're trying to punish like whatever the next option is for Bayo, it might be actually a little, a little bit difficult unless you're calling out what a forward smash to punish that you can come with. So, yeah, you're not going to die plenty from until at the very least 200, but footstool down air comes in. A little bit of a little bit of a mix up from Amarillis, usually landing with just a raw down air, but hey, why, if you can confirm, why not try to do so? And no gold from Pango means that all of these minecarts that he's been throwing out are much more interactable. As Amarillis makes full use of that with two com full combos, nearly getting him off the top. So, I, so here's the thing about the, that DI, right? Like, I I haven't seen a Bayo do a uh, double witch twist upwards like in a very long time, right? And that just means that he is as DIing like up, just up. He's not even doing up in a way; it's just up. But and those are off of two, 100 degrees off like pretty much two Bayo combos, right? So. Yeah, and damage is damage, and you kind of need to, you need to rack up damage as Steve because maintaining a lead is so important as Steve. Get up attack invincibility saves Amaryllis from, uh, from the TNT explosion. But because when at high damage like this, Steve can become so much more difficult to to interact with and to face as the more damage you get, the more knockback you have, the more time you're taking getting back to stages. That was a cute little setup. <laughs> yeah, and you know, yeah, and, and what it's a uh, add on to what you were saying, it's just like, you know, Steve has like the, the mine cart, right? That's like really strong up close. Also, like we saw, we saw the up smash that shield scoop, like, like, you know, scoop really hard. Um, it's the character, like, you know, down the stretch of the game, it's really annoying to interact with them because they just to make you explode. For no reason. He was, he had a little bit of RCO like there, but not looking to punish his Pango. Just pretty, pretty safely keeping his distance, uh, utilizing the massive amount of resources that he has, uh, and the additional promise of the counterpick Kalos. Uh, only getting either raw materials like or prime materials like uh, diamonds and gold or stone which has much more durability and making it a much more of a problem for Amaryllis to, to work around yeah yeah you know I, yeah I, but yeah but I have to say like I feel like no I feel like Pango hasn't been trying to do that type of wall right I, I feel like that especially with the material that he can mine from here you bro Okay, so let's talk about that. You remember when you said, yeah, remember when you said that um, uh, Amaryllis is going to start ABKing from ledge now that they're doing a setup? Uh, it looks like uh, uh, he didn't do that. <laughs> he did it before. <laughs> this one was just jump. Oh, he got hit because he air dodged or he tried to wave land on platform. He, I don't believe he gets hit if he double jumps away right there, but he air dodges down. 
Uh, Pango was just a little bit too late to catch the jump from ledge, but Amaros gives it to him anyway. Yeah, man. Uh, God bless. That's all I have to say about that. God bless. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Apollotion? Op Apollotion? Apollotion. Right? Apollotion. Ab absolution. No, ap Apollotion. I think. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the follow. Greninja Gang. Let's go Apollotion. This is... Man, yeah. so many game threes thus far. This is a really tightly knit bracket right now. Was that a 45 hit, 45 damage combo? Yeah, yes. no, it's true. Yes, yes. Yeah, true combo. I knew I clipped this for a reason. Oh my. Yeah. Now Steve, Va Steve, he's he's DLC Pac-Man. His combos do more damage, and he sets up better walls. <laughs> the more you say that, it gives uh, the more you you give bars power. <laughs> it's you know what I'm just saying, it's true, right? It's like you can, you know, everybody was hopping on the BG's train now. Um, uh, now we, we all need, we all need to accept that um, we have a DLC Pac-Man on our hands. At the very least, he doesn't have the mobility of Pac-Man, so like there's. God, imagine if he was just I, I still flying think, around. I, I still think Pac-Man is better overall, oh, yeah, but Steve 100%. is more obnoxious in some ways. Yeah, there's, there's more um, there's more um, giant turkey looks at the carnival for Steve than there is for Pac-Man. You know? Yeah, yeah. A lot more to look out for, but also a lot less to just naturally respect in a high-level game state. Oh yeah. Because like that stuff, th that right there, the uppies on stage, they don't seem like they would be good, but then they are, and uh, <laughs> and you get grabbed or you get up smashed, and everything starts to fall apart. Amaryllis is very fortunate, not only be for Bayo's uh, incredibly high mobility and setups like these, but the damage output of Bayonetta can keep up with Steve, as weird as that sounds. Yeah. So he doesn't have to worry about constantly being at a deficit. Like forty percent isn't that much. Yeah, and 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 like and like you were saying before, like Bayonetta does pose pose a problem for Steve when it comes to like the gameplay Bayonetta, the mobility of Bayonetta, right? Does give Steve, Steve a bunch of issues. And um, also like just getting away, just getting away from Bayo as Steve is just like really annoying. Oh, he died. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, like, you know. Right, but Amarillo's is calling out these air dodges uh, pretty good now. He's re really got a beat on some of the defensive habits that Pongo has been doing, like, on hit. Like, whether he'll air dodge or whether he'll try and jump. And has netted himself a rather large lead because of it. But Steve can make this up with about one up tilt. Yeah, about about one up tilt, a, di a diamond hands away from um, robbing robbing a stock and then the set. You never know. Um, but yeah, but right now, you know, Amaryllis is just is pretty much controlling neutral, right? And all those cart, all those mine carts that Pango has been throwing out, um, have I honestly get gotten called out a majority of the time. And um, that's a pretty big staple of Steve's gameplay is the cart mix-ups and getting out of danger with those carts. Yeah, it's. It really looks like Amaryllis is more willing to challenge Steve, not necessarily when they have diamond or when they have extra blocks on hand. Like that's all, like normal. But when they have gold, everything becomes so much harder to mess with oh, because yeah. minecart is an immediate killing threat that moves so fast. As Amaryllis just says, "I'm not even gonna go to ledge." Still gets caught by a diamond back air. Wow, that's how we're gonna end that set. <laughs> Where are you rolling, bro? <laughs> that's how we're gonna. That's this is after right now. Drop from Halo, kill move, true combo. <laughs> he gets killed. He dies, and we probably it's probably in the same clip. The next the next stock, just drop from Halo, kill move. <laughs> God bless. Works every time. God bless, man. That's the uh, that's the fallen where it's just like yes. Thank you for running under the respawn platform. 
again. Like, or you know, you go for the you're, 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 you go for the roll. It's just like, yeah, I'm gonna do a kill move while I'm invincible. Please roll. Thanks, idiot. And you're just like, all right. Stupid. <laughs> like, Dummy. I'm just gonna like. I'm, am I gonna run away from you while I'm invincible? No, I'm trying well, to I'm, hit you. <laughs> I'm gonna swing. What are you gonna, what, are you gonna punish me? I'm invincible. Oh my God. You literally can't touch me.